We've had the Big Green Egg XL Kamado for many years, and it's time to do a deep dive review to help you know if this is the grill for you. If you're looking for a Kamado grill to add to your collection, one of the first names you probably come across is Big Green Egg. They're easy to spot since all models are the same shade of green, and they've been around since 1974. Today, we're talking all about the XL size, which is the second largest egg in their product lineup. The XXL size would be a step up from the XL size that we have here, but to say that this is a big Kamado grill is really an understatement. Let's start with the stats. The price of the XL Big Green Egg is $1,299. This is the price for the cooker itself without a stand or cover, side shelves, or any other accessories. We'll walk through some recommended accessories later in this video along with their prices so you can make a decision on if this is right for you and your budget. But before we do that, let's talk about what this grill can do. The XL Egg has a cooking surface of 452 square inches, and that's 2,919 square centimeters. The cooking grid size is 24 inches round, or 61 centimeters, and there are multiple levels of cooking grates available at an extra cost. The highest temperature you can cook with on this grill is 750 degrees according to the dial, and many people have gone higher, but you're flirting with disaster if you make this a habit. Ceramic grills can take a lot of heat, but even a ceramic grill with a gasket between the top and bottom have limits and will crack if pushed too far. For a low temperature on this grill, it's as low as you'd care to make it since you're the one who's adding the fuel and controlling the fire. You can cook as low as 180 or lower on this cooker, but that control is in your hands with how much charcoal you add and how much of that charcoal is lit and how much airflow passes through the grill. The assembled dimensions of the XL Egg are 27 and a quarter inches high and 26 and a half inches deep and wide. The cooker weighs 219 pounds or 99 kilograms without the nest stand and you can add another right around 20 pounds if you're adding the nest. The Big Green Egg is a multifunctional cooker, which means that you can handle low and slow smoking of meats like brisket, pork butt, and ribs, while also getting it ripping hot to sear steaks and bake pizzas. Kamado grills really are a do-it-all machine, but the drawback that many people have with them is the same reason that you'll find so many of them on Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace. There's a learning curve to using a Kamado grill. Some people can get the hang of it in their first three or four cooks, and others it takes so long that they give up and they sell their egg because they can't get the hang of it. A question we get all the time is, how easy is it to control temperature on this grill? And the answer is honestly relatively difficult if you're not used to working with charcoal. If you've only worked with a gas grill or a pellet grill and you're looking to move to a Kamado style cooker, you need to be ready to sign up for the learning curve. More on this later, but this is pretty far from a set it and forget it grill when you first get started. Another question we get quite often is how much charcoal does it use? Since this is the XL size big green egg, it's actually quite a bit. I usually start my egg with about half to three quarter of a bag of lump charcoal whenever I want to fire it up. If you're not used to cooking with charcoal, that might seem like a lot, but one of the benefits of Kamado cooking is that they're pretty much airtight when you close the air intake and the exhaust vent. So when you're done cooking, any charcoal that's left will cool down and be ready to use on the next cook. Now the hotter you cook, the faster you'll burn through the charcoal, but this is a sizable grill and it needs to be fed to run properly. We'll also get asked about the efficiency of this grill. Is it efficient? Well, the answer to that isn't quite as clear. Kamado cookers are designed to hold in the heat and fight off the elements using a thick ceramic that covers the entire grill. It's efficient in that it will hold the heat in if you leave the lid closed while you're cooking, but it does take a good amount of heat to get the entire grill warm so it has heat to hold. Every time you lift the lid, you're letting out the heat that's built up, so less opening of the lid makes it more efficient, which is hard to keep closed when you're cooking things like burgers or chicken or steaks. Assembling the grill is relatively easy, but lifting it to assemble everything is the difficult part. Weighing in over 200 pounds, this isn't a grill that you just pick up and walk around with. 
you'll want a cart or a dolly or a few friends to move it around. The egg comes in two primary pieces, the lid, called the dome, and the base. They're both made of ceramic, so they're fragile and need to be handled with care. The hinge and the metal bands that go around the lid and the base need to be attached and tightened, and it's something that you can have the professionals do. Most places that I see the big green egg sold have an assembly option, and many times it's included for free if you ask around. If you've ever used a pellet grill, you might ask if you need to season a Kamado grill, and the answer is no. The ceramic in these grills has already been heated to well over 2000 degrees Fahrenheit or 1300 degrees Celsius, and there aren't any manufacturing oils in use that need to be burned off before your first cook. So what exactly can fit on a grill this size? You can easily fit a brisket, and depending on the size and how heavy your trim is, maybe even two. It will fit two 20 pound turkeys, eight to 10 whole chickens, about 20 burgers, four or even maybe more pork butts, 12 steaks, three to four racks of ribs, and probably 10 to 12 racks of ribs if you get a vertical stand to cook those racks of ribs in. Now, if you're new to charcoal, what you might be wondering is what kind of charcoal this grill uses. There are two primary types of charcoal, and they are charcoal briquettes and lump charcoal. While it's true that this grill can use either type of charcoal, it's really designed for lump charcoal. Since this grill is airtight, you can cut off the supply of oxygen at any time, and lump charcoal will hold its shape after a cook as long as you cut off the oxygen supply and let it cool. The next cook, you can add a bit more charcoal to the top and use what's left over for your next cook. Charcoal briquettes are made of compressed sawdust, cornstarch, coal, and wood chips, and after they're lit, they just fall apart into ash and won't hold their shape for the next cook. There's a limited lifetime warranty in all Big Green Egg grills. Now, if you buy it used, the warranty doesn't apply since you'll need a purchase receipt from an authorized dealer to take advantage of the warranty. When it comes to high heat grilling, the Big Green Egg is ready to go right out of the box. Chicken thighs are a staple here at the house, and we debone those thighs and put them in a marinade that the kids really enjoy. Throwing them on the egg has been the way that we grill during the winter months, and we just slide the grill out of the garage to minimize our time out in the cold. We've also cooked marinated shrimp skewers for taco night, and getting a good hot fire going on the egg isn't a problem even on a cold January Midwestern day. Smoking on the Big Green Egg is made much easier if you purchase the optional diverter plate that they call the Convector, giving you a piece of ceramic between the fire and your protein. You can buy accessories like the Convector for the Big Green Egg to give the grill more functionality, and this is where the overall price can really begin to balloon on you. Hey, quick update. In between the time that we shot this video and actually got it edited, within that week, it looks like Big Green Egg has undergone some price increases. So what you're gonna hear me say on this video, the prices are gonna be a little lower on what I say, but I've updated the screen to reflect their new pricing. So what you see on the screen is correct as of the time we've released this video, but what I say is actually a week old pricing and that's gonna be a little bit lower. So check the screen for the current prices and you'll be all set. Let's talk for a second about some of the accessories that you'll probably want for your egg and how much they'll add to the total. You'll probably want something to put the egg in or on, so you'll want either the nest stand for $209 or the modular nest for $469. If you'd like the side shelves that connect to the egg so you have some place to put a cutting board or a pan of meat, that will be $149 for the pair. If you'd like to cook low and slow, the Convector diverter plate runs $119. And if you really like to smoke, and so much so that you want a second tier of cooking space, the Expander adds a second level of cooking for $149. Now, if you're keeping your egg outside, you'll probably want a cover to keep the wood handle from weathering, and you can pick that up for $69. And you'll probably want an ash tool for about $15, and an ash pan that's curved to fit the curvature of the egg for about $29. Now, and that's just the start of the accessories. There's a ton more options to choose from, but what we have here brings the total cost of the XL Big Green Egg to $2,042.81 when you put it all together. When you compare the price of the Big Green Egg to other grills that are on the market to get the same level of accessories added in, just how much would you be spending? To get the same level of accessories from the major players in the market, here's what you'd be spending. 
To get the Kamado Joe Big Joe 3, you'd be spending $2,499. To get the Primo XL 400, you'd be looking at $2,278. The Big Green Egg XL is $2,042.81. And the Vision Grills Maxis comes in at $1,599. Now, here's a few things that we loved about the XL Egg. When it comes to longevity, it can easily last 20 plus years. You might need to replace the gasket or handle, maybe the shelves, but the grill will be there unless it falls over. Ceramic doesn't rust, so you're just making sure the metal components don't rust over time. Now, we've gathered some rust in our exhaust cap from years of use, but it still plows on and is as ready to cook as ever. It cooks in the hot months, extreme cold months, and even in the wind. You can pretty much grill whenever with an egg. Here's what I would say are a few things to watch out for if you're going to bring an egg home. Know that the wood handles weather really quickly. They won't look factory fresh for long and you can replace them. It's just one of the trade-offs for using wood here. This grill is super heavy as well. You're not gonna be taking this camping unless you have four people to help and it's not exactly ready to go off-road on the standard nest wheels. When you buy an egg, you're getting the base model and there are so many add-ons, the price can go up really fast. This XL size is hungry for charcoal as well. You're going to wanna to have a couple of bags around to make sure you have enough whenever you start your next cook. Now, the kickback hinge is nice, but it means you will have to keep it further away from any wall. In our case, we have a backsplash on our outdoor kitchen and the hinged lid means that we'll have to build it up about a foot so the lid could swing over the countertop height back wall. Now you need 24 inches from the center of the grill to the back of where the lid will hinge, so know that that's an issue before you buy. Like most Kamado grills, the gasket seal can also easily freeze, and if you're not careful, you can pull it off, which renders the egg useless until you buy another and replace it. It's not terribly hard to replace a gasket, but it's a pain in the butt when you're ready to cook and you have a gasket hanging off, changing your plans. The XL size is really made for cooking food for larger groups. If we're having two or three families over for dinner, this is the size grill that we turn to. We have to clean this grill at a minimum every two to three cooks that we do a cook on it because really we're knocking off the dust from leftover charcoal. We're cleaning out the ash from the bottom of the fire bowl to make sure that we have good airflow. And if we can't get air to flow into the air intake through the holes in the firebox and through the grill, we just can't get it up to higher temperatures. A grill full of ash means low temps and hardly any airflow. So you might as well use your oven if you're not planning on keeping it clean. Overall, what are my thoughts on the Big Green Egg? Well, to know if it's right for you, you need to know what it is that you really want to do. Do you wanna cook low and slow? Do you wanna grill hot and fast? Do you want just one grill for absolutely everything? Do you wanna set it and really forget it? So price aside, what makes this the right grill for you to own depends on how you're going to use it, how much you'll use it, and the enjoyment that honestly you gain from it. Pellet grills are easier, but they don't taste the same as a charcoal grill. Offset smokers have better smoke flavor and produce better bark on the meat, but you're walking outside every 45 minutes to put wood on the fire. Gas grills are instant heat, but they don't impart any flavor. So what do you want your grill to do? Do you have the patience to learn how to use it? You can certainly use a pit controller like we've reviewed here on the channel by Flame Boss, ThermoWorks, or Fireboard, but there's also an added expense for fire management and lots of wires hanging about while you're cooking. If you'd like to see us shoot a head-to-head -head review of the XL Big Green Egg and the Kamado Joe Big Joe, leave a comment down below. And if we get enough comments, we'll add that to the shooting calendar. If outdoor cooking is your thing, please consider subscribing. We review the best in outdoor cooking and outdoor living and share recipes and techniques to make sure your backyard is the place to be all year round. We put out videos every week and we'd love to have you join us. You can also connect with us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, where we post sales and deals on outdoor cooking equipment and show you behind the scenes on what's happening here at the lab. Thanks for spending the last little bit with us and I can't wait to see you next time right here on the Barbecue Lab.